Adam Rudinsky, and I'm an associate professor at The Ohio State University College of Veterinary Medicine in Columbus, Ohio in the United States. I love to be here with Royal Canin for the Ask the Experts session. There's a large range of different reasons why animals can have variation in their bowel movement consistency. So when we look at that, we can see amongst animals from the same litter, amongst different litters within the same breed, or between breeds, there's a little bit of variation that we see, and as veterinarians, we recognize that there might be some differences when we see a certain patient versus a different patient. One of the classic examples amongst breed is actually large breed animals, which actually have a softer bowel movement frequency on average compared to many of their smaller breed counterparts. Breed and breed size are one of the best predictors we have for how an animal matures and grows over what period of time. And when we extrapolate that out to the full body, we all see that, right? I have a big St. Bernard that grows really big over a long period of time versus some of our smaller breeds that grow up really quickly. The gastrointestinal tract is no different. It takes longer in those large breeds to hit that maturation point. So when we think about it, if I have a large breed animal like that, it's no different than any of the other needs that they have at home as a large breed, right? They might exercise different than a small breed. They might need different care in other ways than a small breed and their gastrointestinal tract is no different. They need individualized and targeted nutritional therapy because large breeds are known to have different digestibility than some of their small breed counterparts, and that is often reflected in softer stool quality and different bowel movement textures amongst those breeds. So if you're a pet owner with a large breed, and particularly one that has soft stools, it all comes down to what factor in digestion can we control as pet owners and veterinarians, and that's nutrition. So my best recommendation for you is to work with your primary care and veterinarian as the trusted resource for your animal's health to find targeted therapeutic or over-the-counter commercial diets that are suited best for your individual animals, gastrointestinal health, and overall well-being. So when we talk about specific nutrients and specific nutritional needs for individual animals, once again, breed and other factors play a big role here. So when we talk about those large breed animals, they have all kinds of nutritional needs that can be met with diets targeting them specifically. For example, we focus a lot on mineral balance in the diet for their growth and bony health, but also from the gastrointestinal health and the fact that that reduced digestibility causes them to have slightly softer stools, you'll often find that juvenile large breed diets have a higher fiber content than most other diets. And that's to try to get ahead of these things and make your animal's gut health and bowel movements as cosmetically pleasing and healthy as possible.